See that? Notebook. That means it's business time. What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to the studio. Jeremy Deal here, and today we're going over the business of real estate photography. And I've been asked by a few subscribers recently over the past months to talk about how to market to different types of people looking for your services. Today, we're gonna to be talking about builders, how to go after builders. This is kind of like a two-pronged approach, or you can do it two different ways, and I'll be going over both in today's episode, so let's dive right in. Now, let me just say, if you think this is some sort of magic that I'm about to give you, it's really not. Of course it's magic. These are all common sense tips, and it is not going to allow you to magically get a top grade builder under your belt tomorrow as a photographer. But what it will do is allow you to build your business plan and your marketing approach around approaching these actual clients. So the very first thing I will say is to know your market, whether you're going after an architect, a real estate agent, or in this case, a builder, know the market you're trying to attract. If the only thing you have in your portfolio are real estate images and real estate style images that are built for selling on the MLS, you do not have enough in your portfolio to attract a builder. You may have enough in your portfolio to attract someone else directly attached to that builder. And I'll go over that a little bit later, but right now we're talking about going directly after the builders themselves. So know your market and know what they're looking for. They're not looking for real estate products because they are not selling real estate. They are selling buildings. So they want you to highlight the structures and not the space. Real estate photography, you want to highlight the space that someone is buying. When you're going after builders, you want to highlight the structures and craftsmanship that they provide of a final product. It's a much different market space and knowing that to start off with will really help you in building your marketing approach. And on that topic matter, I'll say when it comes to talking to builders, you don't want to wing it. You really want to have a game plan. And if you can have some sort of presentation or printed out material in advance, this is really the way I would recommend and the way to go. Winging it with these clients aren't necessarily the best because they know exactly what they're looking for. Being in this industry and being a contractor for as long as they have been, they know a bullshitter when they see one. So don't try and pull this on these people, especially if they are a large construction construction company. Go in with a game plan and stick to it, which means just like I said on the beginning, lots of pre prep, lots of pre preparation before you contact these clients. That means building a proper portfolio and showcasing only the work you want them to see. This is another crucial point. Build a portfolio strictly around what the client wants to see. Do they want to see these wide open shots? Not at all. Maybe some of them, what they want to see is detail shots. If you have a lot of detail shots in your portfolio, this is a good place to start when building out this. If you have a lot of unique fixtures or unique spaces that you've done in high end homes, these are other good things to put in your portfolio. But once again, just the traditional wide open, this is my $400,000 home. Trust me, that's not what these people want to see, and it's not what's gonna sway them into picking you over who they already use. Another thing to remember when you're building out these presentations or printed out material in advance is to not ever really be talking about you. Your goal is not to talk about you, but it's to talk about how you can increase the amount of business they do. Now, that being said, everyone knows the world that's going on right now and new construction is a nightmare. So new business isn't something they really need. They're all behind the gun right now. These people are all far booked out in advance. So you going after them with the marketing strategy of you can attract more clients isn't as effective now as it used to be. But what is effective is targeting their ability to increase their profit margin for next quarter or next year. You can talk about how creative content and good content increases the amount they're allowed to ask for their products in the future, increasing their earnings for next quarter and next year. This is what they want to hear. They want to make more money. How are you going to help them make more money? 
Now, if you're someone who's been around for a while and you have a large social platform, then use that platform as an advantage. Present your platform to them as marketing material. Tell them if you work with them, you will be presenting the images you create on your social media channels free of charge. Now, if you're someone that has a very low social following, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, any of these platforms, whatever you're talking about, if you have very low social following, this will not be as advantageous. But if you do have a large following, definitely use that to your advantage. It doesn't even matter if your following is real estate related, as long as you tell them you will be placing these images in front of a large audience free of charge to them just by using you as their photographer. This will go a long way in swaying their decision. Use all that marketing work you've done in the past to build up these channels to your advantage now to acquire new clients. My next tip is to show off some pre-prepared work of their specific houses, not just generic houses, houses they've built. Do you know about this builder because you photographed for them before? Have you photographed houses they have built in the past? Take all that information and put that into your portfolio. Hey, I've actually photographed and sold a lot of your house in particular. Here are, are the addresses I photographed. People seem to like my images of your house. Once again, leverage that. If you do not have that ability, you can always go to these houses as they're being constructed and photograph them, especially the exteriors. Sometimes you can talk to the project manager on site and ask if you can take a few photos of the interior. This can also go a long way. Once again, having pre-prepared material of their properties in particular will go above and beyond in helping them make that selection. And that selection should always be you. A few things that you can throw in there that you might not be thinking of. Obviously, as I just mentioned, you can do a front exterior and turn that to a twilight image and show it to them. Be like, hey, this is a house you just finished construction on. Here's a twilight rendition of this property. Another thing you can do if you photographed houses for them before is to showcase links to these tours. Be like, hey, I've done these properties before. Here are tour links to all of those. Another thing you can do, especially if you're an aerial photographer, is find a new construction house and visit it once every couple days for the next three months as it gets built. Turn that into a really cool looking aerial time lapse and present that to the company. That's probably my best tip, honestly, because that's something unique they probably don't have and it will present that super wow factor when they're looking through their portfolio and viewing your stuff, especially if it is a new construction house of theirs and not just a generic new construction house. All right, you've stuck around to the end and now I can give you the secret in that you can take if you don't actually have the portfolio to go straight after the builders themselves. And that is to, you ready for this? Go after the agent attached to the builder. I know that's a big secret, right? Find the agent that represents this builder and go after them. You may know them if you shot for them before, especially if you have a heavy residential real estate portfolio. This is probably the easiest way to get into shooting for a new builder is because you can start shooting through the real estate agent and then use that contact as leverage to contact the builder directly for anything they may need for their own personal portfolio or website. Builders, once again, are different than real estate agents and they have different needs. And the best part about working with builders is that their budgets are much larger than real estate agents. Their budgets are used to advertising projects and not for once home sales. So the prices you get paid for doing real estate photography are minimal compared to the prices you will get paid for doing advertising for companies like builders. So I think that's it. That's like uh, all the secrets I got for you. Those are my biggest tips to help you present to builders and gain them as clients in the future. Remember, it takes a little bit of pre-work, but all of that pre-work will pay off if you can land these large clients with higher advertising budgets. As always, keep rocking and rolling. Like and subscribe to this channel if you will, please. Make smart business decisions. Go after these builders. Let me know how that works out. Comment down below. Do you have any tips I didn't mention for anyone else in the crowd? Did any of these tips work for you? Let us know. As always, catch you next time.